Don't let this 16-bit 2D platformer fool you. Blasphemous is an unforgiving and gruesome journey through a dark, creepy landscape with hellish monsters at every turn. Blasphemous is akin to Dark Souls both in theme and difficulty. However, it stands on its own as a punishingly difficult experience, paralleled by even the most demanding games by today's standards. Here are a few tips to help you survive your time in the gloomy world of orthodoxia. When countering enemies, you must parry at the last second, so practice this action early on. If you counter too early or too late, you will take massive damage from your opponents. If timed correctly, you will be given the chance to perform a counter strike, which will do increased damage to your opponent. This will occasionally result in a finisher present when the enemy flashes with a red glow. Many larger enemies or bosses can do extremely high damage if they are not properly fought. Using slides and jumping to stay out of their attacks is a great strategy for dodging. Sliding past most larger enemies will only work if they are in the middle of their attack, so time your slides if moving in their direction. Most larger enemies are far more vulnerable from behind, so try to dodge their attacks and get behind them when attacking. While parrying is your best form of defense, quick movement is vital in order to survive. This is especially prevalent when in combat with multiple enemies. Try your best to dodge and separate your enemies and find moments to strike. There are also many enemies that can be avoided entirely as you progress through different levels. Some are best left alone in order to conserve health, as one misstep could result in a vast loss from your health bar and resources. When killed, you will gain guilt. This will result in thorns growing over your special meter, which, as you would expect, appear as a blue bar under your health. These thorns will render this section unusable. There are two ways to make them go away. You can either pay a confessor to absolve you, or reach the point where you were killed, retrieve your ghost, and clear your guilt. Currency in Blasphemous appears as a symbol reminiscent of a figure eight in the top right corner of the screen. These are called Tears of Atonement. We'll call them Tears. Tears are mainly acquired when defeating enemies and serve as the game's monetary system. These can be used to purchase various resources at the merchant shops, which appear as large openings in the wall. Merchants tend to only have up to three items available for purchase. Many of these items can be extremely useful. For example, an empty bile vessel can be purchased and while not immediately important, they can be filled with blood at the fountains and used as an extra health potion. Make sure to save your tears and get as many of these as you can to have a leg up on the competition. We hope these tips will help you vanquish your foes on your journey as the penitent one. If you have any helpful tips for those navigating the treacherous lands of Blasphemous, leave them in the comments below. For more Blasphemous, check out the first 17 minutes of the game, and for everything else gaming, stay tuned to IGN.